And it's a set of assumptions about what you think your industry is all about. The structure, who your competitors are, where the boundaries are, the next begins. You know, where's the boundary between reinsurance and informatics? It's your business model. How do you make money? What's the product or service economics? What do people really get? What's the value? How do we segment our customers? Do any, well, I should ask, do any of you segment your market? Your customers, do you? Yes. And that's because your customers demanded to be segmented. Have I got this correct? They're very lonely people. And one day they wandered into your head office and said, please segment me. <laughs> <laughs> Segmentation is part of dominant logic. We choose the groups. We choose the grouping theory. And we don't see it, ladies and gentlemen. We don't see this stuff as buried in the brain. We see it when it comes out to play. It goes through our business like a DNA code. It defines us. And where our customers, the most important people in our lives, see it. They see it as a set of practices that they are exposed to. And I call these industry orthodoxies. And orthodoxy comes from the Greek word. Solid, rigid, can't be challenged, been around, captured in our orthodoxies. Ask yourself, I wonder what is the dominant logic of my institution? What are the assumptions that govern our behavior that go so deep, we're not even conscious of what they are? And be selective. Not all of them, of course, are irrelevant, but some of them will really cause inertia. They'll block it. What are these assumptions?